Hi, so here we are going to discuss few additional results based on GCD or HCF, right? So as you can see, I have noted down two statements over here. These are the additional results of GCD and HCF. So we are going to read them and then we are going to talk about their proofs, right? So first thing is largest number dividing P, Q and R leaving remainder S T and U respectively will be the GCD of P minus S, Q minus T and R minus U, right? So here we are talking about the same number which divides all P, Q and R and when it divides P it leaves remainder S and when it divides Q leaves remainder T and when it divides R it leaves remainder U, right? So suppose that largest number is X. So if I assume that largest number be as x, then p will be equal to q1 times x plus s, right? We are assuming that greatest number as x. So when x divides p, q1 times it leaves remainder as s. This will be the equation, right? And similarly, when it divides q, q2 times, quotient I am writing as Q1, Q2, Q3, then it leaves remainder as T, right? So when X divides Q, Q2 times the remainder is T. Similarly, when X divides R, Q3 times, it leaves remainder as U. So R can be written as Q3 times X plus U, right? When it divides P, leaves remainder S. When it divides Q, it leaves remainder as T. And when it divides R, it leaves remainder as U. Right? So from here, we can write P minus S is equal to Q1X. Similarly, from here, we can write Q minus T is equal to Q2 times X. Right? And from here we can write R minus U is equal to Q3 times X. Right? That means this X divide P minus S, Q minus T and R minus U completely. That means X is a factor of P minus S, Q minus T and R minus U. Right? And for X to be the largest number, X has to be an HCF or GCD of P minus S, Q minus T and R minus U, right? So this is the proof behind that result and we use this result in many places while solving word problems, right? So this was the first result of HCF which says the largest number dividing P, Q and R leaving remainder S, T and U respectively is actually the GCD of P minus S, Q minus T and R minus U. Right? So this was our first finding and now let's concentrate on the second finding and the second finding is the largest number which divides the number P, Q and R gives the same remainder in each case will be the HCF of P minus Q, Q minus R and P minus R where P is greater than Q which is greater than R. So again let's assume that X is the divisor and Y is the remainder. Right? Because every time the remainder is same. Right? So when X divides P, suppose it divides P Q1 times and leaves remainder as Y, right? And when it divides Q, Q2 times, again it leaves remainder as Y, right? And when it divides R, Q3 times, again it leaves remainder as Y, right? In all three cases, remainder is same. X is the divisor or X is the largest number which we are talking about right then we'll get these three equations let's call it equation number one and this as equation number two and this as equation number three right 
when I do equation number 1 minus 2, assuming that P is greater than Q, on the left hand side I will get P minus Q is equal to Q1 minus Q2 multiplied by X plus Y minus Y which will get cancelled. Remainder will cancel each other, right? So from here we get this X is a factor of P minus Q and similarly if I do equation number 2 minus 3 then we'll get Q minus R is equal to Q2 minus Q3 multiplied by X right that means this X is a factor of Q minus R and similarly when we do equation number 1 minus equation number 3 we will get P minus R is equal to Q1 minus Q3 multiplied by X. So we have got these three equations. From these three equations we can say that this X which is the largest number is actually a factor of P minus Q, Q minus R and P minus R. That means this X is the HCF or the highest common factor of P minus Q, Q minus R and P minus R. Right? So this is what the proof of the second result or the second additional property of HCF. Right? And in next video we are going to solve few examples based on these properties. So bye bye till then.